it is actually noon. It is actually noon 50. <laughs> and I can't remember the last time I slept in this late. And I wish that I could say I slept early on in the night, but I ended up going to bed and not falling asleep until 3.30. 3 or 3.30, woke up at 9, and then went back to sleep at like 10.30, maybe even later, like 11. So I didn't really get that much sleep to begin with. I don't know if you're blurry, but just in case. Anyways, my hair, if anyone goes through this, has gone through this in their 30s, late 30s, where your hair just suddenly, you wake up with it, just bad let me know like it's just look at that i i don't know what where this came from lately this is something new for the past like three four years so yeah just got hair in my mouth and yeah so i thought why not document i was going to wait i was going to do all the things go to the bathroom do my whole morning routine and then grab you but I thought I'm taking you on this journey to finding myself on my path again basically and why not go from the start of start of the day <laughs> my start of the day and also I wanted to actually share that I slept in until noon again because this is something that I'm actually excited about because I've never done this. I, I don't know why I said never. I've not done this in such a long time. Like a very long time. Years. Over five years, I want to say. Even longer. Like, even on the weekends. Just, just, I just don't do this. I wake up early. And it's, I think, definitely something psychological. Like, you know, a parent just like, come on, wake up, wake up. <laughs> it's bad. One should not sleep in until noon. It is wrong. And um, I have been on this journey, especially getting my own place or moving out. I have been on the journey of, as my therapist has called it, one that should not, one should not shoot thyself to death. And it's not his phrase. He was taught that phrase. He was given that phrase from someone else. So, um, yeah, I shall not, I think it shall, I shall not shoot myself to death. Or I should, yeah. Anyways, um, so I'm trying to um, pick at all these shoulds. I don't want to sleep this late in. Um, it, yesterday worked out, honestly, because of the news that I received and it made the day go by much faster. I was less, like, less with that news in a way. Um, but I will say that my mood takes a dive. And I don't know if it's because I don't get enough sleep or I, I wake up too late. And so far too late was, I don't even know. But it wasn't noon. Um, it was maybe like 11, which also was rare and new to me this past week or two weeks ago or something. I don't know. So, um, yeah, it, it just varies. It depends. And that's another thing I want to say. Just go with your flow. Go with what makes sense to you. If you work until midnight or whatever, like it's, it doesn't make sense for you to wake up at 8. People might say that, and there is something to sunlight and morning light, but just, I don't know. I feel like everyone should really take as much as possible from these rules and also apply them how it fits them and when it fits them because, yeah, like yesterday... I needed it and I felt better for it and it was a better choice. Today, I also I feel like I feel better at 9 o'clock when I woke up, 8.45. Um, I 
didn't feel emotionally happy. I say that very weirdly. There was anxiety. Um, there were things that... Oh my gosh, so many things swimming in my head. There were things that um, just kind of poof, hit me uh, from yesterday again. Or like this job situation, I really got very hurt again and confused as to why they didn't see how much of a fit we were. You know, both in my company culture, my personal culture, values, uh, drive, and the role itself and my experience and my tools and my assets, my skill set. And them saying, like, along the way, literally giving me only positive feedback. I was in the room, you know, with two people at first Tuesday and then another person. And both time, both times, I only got positive feedback of, like, don't worry. You know, like, it's only a formality from here. And it just blindsided me. So I, I definitely woke up as the young ones call it <laughs> nowadays, in my feelings, um, once I woke up. So I'm, I feel like I made the choice to go back to sleep um, to hopefully wake up on a better mood, and I did. So, yeah. And then also, like, um, relationships. I posted this. Being human is such a journey, and love is so simple, yet being with another human is so complex. Um phone drop. I woke up and I thought, because I made this promise to Nelson that um, he didn't ask for it. But I, I made the promise anyways that I will give it a week with daily vlogs and see how I feel afterwards if I'm back on that train or um, whatever blocks me from doing it if it's if it goes away if it dissipates if it like loosens up and disintegrates um and i woke up feeling like i think that's a good choice because a lot of times this has motivated me and not because oh i have to vlog sometimes yes but more so it was a nice partnering experience some people i think do this by themselves but, you know, talking to yourself, like, okay, like, we're gonna get up, or we're gonna go work out, or whatever. And I've done that, too, in the meantime, but um, this is different. I feel that packness to this that is often missing in our lives. But we are pack animals as well. We probably wouldn't call ourselves packs of people. <laughs> but um, we are like dogs in the sense of we are social. We are together in communities, in families. However you define that. But we just... That is genetically, biologically what humans are. We're together people. We're not alone by yourself person. It's kind of like, I don't remember which one, but a crocodile and alligator, one stays with their child, um, their offspring, and one doesn't. One just, okay, you're born, you're on your own. We're not that. We're, it's impossible for us to take care of ourselves when we're born for a long time. And in general, we thrive. When you see people thriving, you see people that have a community. Whether it's like, just people they use or people that they're in an actual community with. No one succeeds by themselves. Whether you're talking about, you know, having a loving, fulfilling life or having a lot of money, it doesn't matter how you define success, all of the above, it doesn't matter. You you are social creatures. So I think that's like the aspect that this infuses into my life. Let's just get going with the day because I really need to use the restroom. I, there's a theme of me holding on from using the restroom that I'm trying to, you know, not do anymore. Um, and I'm also even more than that, if possible.
possible. I want to turn my heat back on because I'm cold. Because now I'm awake. And I need to, like, stretch my body. Because, you know, we worked out a lot a couple weeks ago. A couple, what am I saying? A couple days ago. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye. I was about to open those blinds and I was like oh I should record this so you can see I don't know like visually that makes sense I want to show that kind of visual aspect of morning routine and so I had to come back here and turn that back up and close that light so you get the whole feeling <laughs> that, that took a while that's my underwear, my dirty underwear. Um, fun fact, if you don't know this, please change your underwear every day. Every day, every morning, every morning, please, at least. Sometimes I have changed at a night as well, but at least every morning, because people know, people notice. Public service announcement, okay. Anyway, so I don't know if you can hear me, but I decided, let me try to do this. You know, kind of prop, 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 uh, mm, mm, properly. I don't know what I'm saying. I kind of want to let my hair down like that. I don't know. I grew up on brushes that were metal and like metal these things and I remember here avoiding buying brushes because they were plastic and they were um, just giving me static electricity. <laughs> And I haven't been able to find a metal brush, but also this one has hopefully only bore, but I think it has bore and plastic, besides these plastic ones. Anyways, it's, it's good enough. Yeah, all right, anyway, so we, again, sorry if you can't hear me from the water. But this is something I started doing because my hair gets greasy today. It's greasy anyways, but here we are. With my face, and I use this. towels. I actually think it might be better to use a good towel that is just for face because paper towels have their own lint so uh, I'm thinking sorry I just oh gosh I just got a flashback for some reason so I've been having contacts since I was two. I didn't put them myself at two, but basically I'm saying I don't need a mirror anymore. Um, so I, at night, I tend to use something like this more. Um, and in the morning and at night, I think this will help uh, keep moisture in. Tula. This is not sponsored. Tua, can you please fix this situation? Your caps are impossible to screw back on. The amount of times, that, the anxiety that it gives me to, like, I need more. <laughs> but, well, I'll put the other one. But yeah, the anxiety it gives me because this always, like, doesn't go on properly and it always, like, falls out of your hands and stuff. So please, Tua, please. 
I used, I don't think I have it anymore, but beforehand, before that, um, I used Roche Posay, uh, I think also Tularine or whatever, Tularian, um, the probiotic, all that stuff. Um, and then I discovered Tula, and it's actually better because that Roche Posay would leave this, it would start like creating these lint things. I don't know how else to call it. I also, this, I, it's actually not that great for my skin, but it's not that horrible. So I use it for that extra moisture. Um, Cause it still has fragrance and my skin feels it. See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. It's a sewing process, especially when you have like lotion. <sighs> obviously not sponsored. Well, not obviously, like I'll still, like, I'll take it. I actually saw um, this from um, Rachel Mer Mercaconnell, what <laughs> Rachel Kirkconnell uh, from Bachelor stuff, um, The Bachelor World. And I thought, oh, let me try it when I was in Target at Ulta. They created an Ulta in Target. And um, I was like, oh, this doesn't have a smell. So I took it. I felt like I needed to try something that worked versus that worked kind of similar to the Roche Posay cream. And um, this one works. It, but sometimes I discovered that I have pieces of oatmeal on my face. <laughs> At night, I put this on as well. Um, this was from a esthetician that I started seeing, and then you know, job stuff got in the way, or lack of job stuff got in the way. Toothbrush. to share how I brush my teeth. It is a way that these people taught me in Romania a long time ago. And um, yeah, um, this is really bothering me. Um, it, maybe I should put the other one on. Um, it supposedly helps your gums to not recede because I have receding gums and at the same time, actually get stuff out of there, uh, off the tooth. Um, yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna bother me <laughs> for a long time. This, it's not a coarse, cold sore. You saw what it was. It was like very scaliness. Um, and if you have it and you know even better what it is, let me know. I've noticed I get it just in random, not random, but in, I haven't figured out exactly the time set. I get it. So, all right, let's go. Oh, it's hot. In a good way. When I say that, most likely it's a good way. Um, fasting period is almost over. I had to change it because I wasn't going to wake up early enough. Um, <laughs> grab my wires again. Grab my stuff. And let's go. We have... On the to-do list today, we have a couple of things. Also, another thing, another tool, a thing. It doesn't quite work. Um, yeah, it's it's almost there, almost there. If you tweak your formula a little bit, I'm sorry, I keep <laughs> keep losing you with the the light changes. My iPad, my water, and myself. Um, if you 
tweak it if you tweak your for tweak tweak your formula just a little bit where it's it doesn't fade during the day and it doesn't stay on the skin like it blends in my favorite I'll just show you like the one best foundation bare minerals I don't use it because I need to get an updated color match but it is the best one you do not see it and it never stops being on your skin it's I, I love it amazing uh, you have to have some kind of oily skin or moisturized skin though um, for it to like really do that effect anyways I will talk to you soon bye Bright colors and beautifully embellished fabrics. Teachable has made it possible for me to bring that inspiration to my students. This is a collection. I've never done this, but I basically the pan that I used, all the stuff that I used for the chicken yesterday, it's in there. We'll see. You're waking up in the morning or going to bed at night. That would be a great opportunity for that sort of thing. That cooker kind of. One could argue, and I've had this thought many times, that pick your dog up whether they want it or not, and you'll just sort of force them to go with you. And what's somewhat interesting, you can't just sometimes the and um, I think that was one of the This is the finished product. Excuse the mess. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Hello. So you cut out. Anyways, I got done with food. Grabbed everything. I need to clean it off. Um, here we go again with the bad lighting. I don't know why I went the other way. And now I'm about to sit down and do some employment stuff. And some... Um, just personal organization, computer stuff, etc. And then I'll clean up. I'm not sure if Nelson is coming over for workout today. Um, my back hurts a lot. <laughs> so I'm maybe going to do a little treadmill, but a little less than usual. Or maybe I'll just walk um, around if he's not coming. Um, and do some chores and stuff to kind of keep my mind in a positive space, in an active space, and be my best self. Especially when, I feel like, especially when you're in a relationship, you have to do things that will keep you in a space that's um, nurturing to the relationship. Otherwise, it's really easy to let whatever is going on in your world make you irritable and lash out or I don't know just not the best show upper <laughs> I don't know so I'm I'm working on that because to be honest when I was young like 10 years ago or not even 10 years ago even when we met I had the idea of kind of like I almost feel like it's a little bit like with the jobs where I felt so burnt out from a lack of love the desert you know what's that not thirsted me um desert like the desert of love <laughs> um I don't even know but anyways it, it just like took so much away it just burned me out so much that when we met I had this attitude that I never had before which was you're going to be there for me like not even in that sense but you're going I want someone who you know will change for me for a change or who will learn my language instead of me learning their language or um, their style of music you know I want someone who's basically going to be me as I've been for so many people and I had such a different attitude I was very closed off from love in that sense and I didn't really 
know it or I just I just didn't know what else to do <laughs> and he came up I, I so wish that we would have met much earlier who's coming now hold on let me get this hello I cannot stand the spams I love that I have this like personal light situation um all right, let's see how in the other room, the small room, if I can, for future interviews or videos and things, is this the same? I feel like it is. Like if I move this desk, excuse the mess here, just temporarily, I don't know, I see a dead, a deadish fly. Anyways, so, anyways, whatever I was saying, um, yeah, I just, I'm becoming myself again, and I'm loosening up all the tough exterior and defense mechanisms that really cost us a lot of time. We both have had our own individual ones, so it's not just me, but yeah. Um, I might, as much as I am, I want to leave this window open for the plants, and it's nice. I'm gonna try to get something, but it is kind of chilly. But it's human and I feel like it's perfect for the plants. But it's exactly <laughs> in my line of coldness. Anyways, let's um let's get to work, 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 work. Alright, so <laughs> I put this on. This is my sweater basically, but I also changed these. Um I need to turn down the heat so it doesn't turn on. Um, let me close it a little bit so it's not as much. The reason I don't open this window is because this window lets down this little guy. It's my parent pet. Um, I could trap him and all that in a cup, but then I feel like he or someone will just get back in. Oh, maybe he got in through the times, very few times I had this open. I don't know. I'm gonna try that because I feel bad. He's been sitting here hoping to get out. I don't know what they live on. Let me try. So, you died before I could do this, but, um,. That's the situation, so I'm waiting for it, him, her, whatever, to be able to be caught in a plastic cup so I can release it. Um, so that's what happened there. And I've not been doing any work. I'm now getting to it because up to this point, I've just been scrolling border collie type of reels. I so one thing that I've changed in for some reason I don't look at you that much anymore I'm not engaged with you that much anymore so I'm going to try to do that that's another second personal challenge for vlogging because I used to always be in your face and now I haven't I look around and <laughs> and even when I talk to people I'm like that so I don't like that Sometimes I do. Sometimes it's helpful. It helps me think. Or, I don't know. I want my chapstick, but I only have lipstick, so. I'll have a little bit of color. Um, yeah, anyway, so let's, um, let's get to work. Oh, boy. Oh. I don't want to get up now because this is a nice stretch. <laughs> okay. Part two. Alright. Okay. Here we go. This is not going to work. <laughs> this angle is not going to work. Um. Alright. Maybe.
probably should put it away because <laughs> it's like no it's t it's time to go arena uh, I should put it away because yeah it's not Christmas anymore come on buggy come on get out of the way oh man I think I learned the wrath of the stink bug. I don't know where it is. I will have to eventually close the window, but something started smelling. I'm thinking it's that. I don't know. I opened this other window up. Um, I was I was sitting down like this. I don't know what just happened over here. All right. So I didn't do too much. Well, I kind of did some stuff. I did, apparently LinkedIn has provide service page now. So I did that. I think I can close the window here. I'll just leave it. That's a lot. But I am actually I need to put on my sports bra and get ready to work out. Not sure if he's coming still, um, but I'll find out soon enough. Um, and yeah, I feel kind of good about the things that I've done. I don't think I did too, too much, but it was good effort towards things and also helping me have an idea of like just conceptualizing more and more what I offer whether it's an employed job or freelancing consulting whatever job so yeah I'm getting very stressed and anxious and nervous right now I'm going to go and post the um upload the videos now and yesterday's videos and so forth and um yeah i'll talk to you later goodbye hi hello <laughs> this is a, actually an interesting frame and an interesting lighting situation so i'm gonna go with it even though my face is not very well lit um but this i don't know i, I like this i'm not usually a pink red person but i kind of Anyways, so I'm uploading, it's processing two videos. By the way, I also, I tried Far Cry 5 for an hour. Check that out. Um, and... Uh, why is this copyrighted? I understand the Far Cry, but this video... This one? I don't know why. <laughs> There's words to live by. <laughs> Maybe I sing along. Oh yeah, my my laptop uh, speakers are, as the kids call it, shot. I don't. I don't have the patience to figure out why it's copyrighted, but I don't really care too much. Take your share, take my money. I like my my goal is to post things, not so much right now. I'm, there's no way I'm going to be making that much money, period, off of YouTube, much less off one video. So take your share, take everything. Um, and I would rather have that. I would rather people just take their money and let me sing along or do things with copyright material like I guess that's called co uh, collaboration I don't I'm not saying 
I post their stuff on purpose. I'm saying, excuse me, I'm saying, um, like I sing along or I play a video game, you know, which I think is so different than, um, filming a movie in theaters and posting it, you know, kind of stuff. Anyways, so, um, I guess he is coming over to work out. It was funny because we had a conversation about sizing and weight and, uh, calories. <laughs> and he, I'm like, so are you, are you coming to work out or just like dropping by? And he's like, well, after this conversation, I guess I have to. <laughs> so, um... Anyways, I have been drinking, I've been pretty good with water. I, unfortunately, the sun went and this is not as great of a, of a visual, but um, this is my second water bottle of the day and it's only like four hours into my personal day, but it's five o'clock technically. It takes some time for me to swallow water. Um, it's like a running joke, I guess, with people who know me, which is not many lately. Um, yeah, gotta, gotta chew my water. Anyways, so um, this is interesting how like the processing, oh, standard processing and then HD processing. This is so weird. Um, okay, that's done. I need to close some of these tabs. There's a lot open. I'm really looking forward to after working out. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing him. Uh, <laughs> I honestly... Part of me thought that I could never be excited to see someone every single day. We don't see each other every single day, but um, almost. And yeah. My back hurts. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do with the back. Um, I am actually going to take my iPad with me. Let me grab my stuff. Let me go to the bathroom. But yeah, I'm going to grab my iPad for if I'm going to do results with Lucy or results wellness lifestyle uh, workout. So let me grab that. Um, I mean, he still has about 20 minutes to get here um, at least. But, oh boy. Oh boy. Um, I'm excited after we work out and all that stuff. Can't wait to squish his face. He's so cute. <laughs> um, but after we work out, I am excited to, um, do a little bit more of organization with YouTube vision board or vision binder i have made a vision binder before i feel like that's more my style um and the list of things that i need to buy so i i started on notion i started this da database for my past employer um i was very proud of that it had so many different like interesting things include like, so one of the things was one of the layers was um, for myself, I created a tutorial da database for video editing, and I want. I, I think I already started something like that for things I want to buy or own. I want to do that for apartment things. For example, I want a better system at the entrance where I can just put things better I don't even know or like over there that area is like really really useful 
for me to just drop things when I have a lot of bags and so forth like that's the area I go to so I, I really want to have something over there and I want it to match excuse me I used to think I was a dark wood person but I do like I love that color and I love the white washed I was in Crate and Barrel for the first time a few months ago and when I moved here and I saw this table, it was whitewashed or white painted, scrubbed, whatever. And it had these candlesticks that I did buy. Oh boy. Oh, my hips also hurt. So these candlesticks. I also have three mini ones. Uh, it was a beautiful layout. I, I like that style very much um so yeah like you can see this and yeah I, I really like that um when my couch right now i put it to be red when i had it i have it white um it's nice so that's kind of what i'm leaning towards with a lot of green and that kind of purplish situation yeah so I'm leaning more towards warm wood colors maple I saw in one HG, HGTV that's a tongue twister for someone with my accent episode of something I don't even know but they did a lot of maple uh, in the house and that's a very light warm light wood it's pretty i think that's too light for me i do like that cognac -y type i don't know what that is and also that's a stain but i don't know what that would be um yeah so i don't know i still don't have a style and i know that i'm starting to meet certain pieces certain ideas and then clothing wise i also want to try to photoshop myself um where i look like i want to look after like in a few months like what's my goal i want to photoshop myself this might be controversial but i want to photoshop myself instead of getting someone else's body that looks a certain way i want to see how my body can look and i i guess i don't know if photoshop i wish there would be online like a way to Put in the measurements, take your body and put in measurements that you're realistically wanting to achieve and they give you how your body would look at that, at those measurements. I have pictures from my past that were at a certain um, measurement, um, so I might just do that. Um, but yeah. Also, should I cut my hair? I kind of almost want to cut my hair. <sighs> I kind of almost do. Kind of almost do. I'm gonna discuss this with Nelson. Anyway, that was, that's a very random thing. Um, but yeah. So that's kind of what I'm excited to work on tonight. And I still need to. It feels like Friday. Oh, your temperature. And we're back maybe so i still feel like what was i saying i don't even remember oh I, it feels like friday for some reason i don't know why this is scritia um but it feels like friday however whether it's tonight or tomorrow, I freaking need to put my clothes away. I need to organize and some fak kuratenia. That is not a swear word, that is to do in Romanian. Um, and I kind of feel like doing it tonight, but we'll see, maybe tomorrow. Um, I should play some Ghost Recon with Nelson if he is up for that later. He might go over his family's after working out. Um, but yeah, so 
that's the, the update. I, why not? I don't take you along. Um, work out and uh, I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. I'm back. I didn't take you with me. He took a long time to get here because he got out uh, late from work and then I somehow got through the workout. I was so tired by the time we got there. And I don't know. I was just, um, well, I know why, but anyways. Um, but got through something. It wasn't a great, great workout. How many? Let's see, what, what did we do? We did not that much. That is abysmal. That needs to be an, where's the other thousand calories? Oh my gosh, that's so bad. That is not, <laughs> look, I mean, look at this. Yesterday was, I know yesterday was bad because I didn't do much, but oh, this week has been kind of bad, but see, these were the numbers when I worked out a week ago, but it's okay. You know why it's okay? Because last week was a great week. This week is a little slower, but it's okay because the whole idea was to keep moving and even if I just end up being going on the treadmill and walking lightly, it's better. It's movement. It's better. So I'm going to jump in the shower and uh, then go eat. The sun is so bright. Also, I discovered... Do I have them here? Mm, maybe not. But these things, those things... They're stinky. They smell like, and this is for the girls out there, they smell like really cheap pads. I don't know. I don't even know where I put the, the packet. Oh, there you go. There you go. So yeah, this is not an ad. This, don't get this. Unless you like the smell of cheap, period, pads. But yeah. At first, it smelled really pretty. Mango, whatever. And now a week in, or two weeks in, no. All right, let's go jump in the shower before he gets home. Be out of the shower. <clears throat> I thought I should show you what I'm eating. I'll say, this is not my favorite. I prefer the Icelandic one. They're both from Iceland, I believe, but I prefer that one. It's creamier to me. Always less sodium. Even this is sometimes too salty. A broccoli situation. The clothes and... Oh, yep. Gotta take that out. I'll just take out the, the bread. This is the um, <clears throat> I was severely disappointed. It's this one. I used to get this when I was young when we first came here. And these were like sorry, Texas style toes, like like that big. What is this? What is this crap? This is like smaller. This is a piece of bread. Bread. Bread with cheese and garlic. You do not need this to be this small. This is ridiculous. At least change the box. Sorry. Got really riled up. This is this is ridiculous. 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 Probably better portion, but I don't know why. I don't have some of this. Oh, but I, I have a lot of, like, I can't swallow well. It's a lot of, like, trachea, not moving situation. Maybe I'm eating too close to working out. I don't know. Anyways, but I wanted to share. I'll talk to you later. Bye. 
Hello, so, oh, I haven't shown you the lights. I don't know what's happening with um, my trachea, but things are not great. Come on, quick. These are the lights. And this is generally paint. There's some stuff, but it's unfortunately paint spatters. So <laughs> that's the kitchen. It looks so interesting. Just that doorway being like that. And then I also have that. So yeah, living it up. I had some food, but as I was saying, I have a lot of like, just the whole trachea is like stuck. And I have a lot of like, heartburn as well. It's, I don't feel good. I don't know if that will help. Basically, I don't know if this is real or, uh, yeah, I don't know if it works, but for hiatal hernia, if you like, basically like raise yourself and drop, it supposedly pulls, especially when the stomach is like heavy because you just ate or you don't want it too heavy, I guess, I don't know. But I'm a little desperate right now, so try that. My neighbors probably did not like it. I'm going to go and do some vlogging, editing and things, and um, yeah, this is like really good lighting. I love Sony. I don't like you because you blur my face and you're old and you don't really work well, but besides that, I like you. I like your image. Stop blurring me. <laughs> okay, bye. I feel a little better. With my stomach trachea situation i want to cut my hair again i want to look like this again i don't even know how i achieved this look i want this look again i don't even know do i have my hats over here where would, where would i even have put them i need to clean this <laughs> i need to organize this like all this space that can be used that I'm not using. I don't think I have my hats with me. Um, yeah, like, I must have taken them though. Maybe I haven't. Interesting. Anyways, so, I don't know about the weight loss situation. This is really difficult. I have kind of stayed at 70 pounds, which actually a month ago I was at 72. So I guess I have lost two pounds, but it's kind of plateaued at 70. Um, haven't done the intermittent fasting thing as well as I have been and I've been eating kind of just I don't even I mean you saw my dinner it, all over the place um, I might go back to toast and farmers cheese because it helps my digestion when I don't need to digest anything complicated um, one of the best <laughs> one of the best um, moments where I felt one of the moments I felt the best was when I had my wisdom teeth taken out and I had I was mashing I was basically my mom made this soup with a potato or like a couple of potatoes and chicken breast and she blended it and it was better than um, baby food 
it was much better than baby food and i also added feta in there it was just the best thing and i realized like i felt really good with my stomach so it's not necessarily what i'm eating as much as it's not being digested properly and when i did oh, also not a sponsor and ah uh, show my face okay so this is not a sponsor but I have um, tried Viome. I also tried Seed and I'm upset with Seed and JS Health because they keep charging my card even though I am, I've tried multiple times to say please get me off um, the subscription. Anyways, but Viome I did because they test you saliva blood and stool and they uh, put together your own personalized little packet of supplements and probiotics and it's pretty good i should i kind of feel like lemon water i'm gonna cut myself a little bit of lemon and do some water i'm gonna put you over here. I'm also trying this other thing called no bra. <laughs> I've always been extremely self-conscious and embarrassed and grossed out by women without bras. I don't really know where that's coming from, but it's a thing for me. So I'm trying, I've been trying for a couple of years to get comfortable with that and We'll see this is a good shirt for that honestly because it's stylish and trendy type of no bra shirt oh and i'm, I'm doing this over the sink so it doesn't get everywhere and get sticky okay it's just a little bit of lemon it's probably too much lemon honestly and a lot of water This might help my digestion, but yeah, it feels like it's just weird what it feels like. I think my diaphragm got twisted up again. Anyways, just wanted to say hi. I have not really gotten to um, officially post the vlogs yet. Um, I'm gonna go do that. I've just been cleaning my laptop, not <laughs> texting a lot with Nelson, and um, somehow I only did that. And I've been watching Tawi. It feels like time. Like what have I been doing for the last two hours? It's eleven. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go back and finish all the posting and everything um but yeah so today is a weird day cool bye hello i love the the color situation look at this baby you're dead baby you're dead oh you're cute she was so small that's september 2019 2020 i got her so cute. Oh baby, what did I missed her? I'm waiting for things. Well, I was waiting for the video to save. Let's see if it saved. Okay. And here we go. Uploading to YouTube. And then once that's done, I'm gonna make my way to the bedroom. I'm walking because I have one more thing. Oh no, I didn't get a perfect thing. Oh well, I guess I did get <laughs> I did get a standing thing today. Um, I was looking through 
photos trying to get inspiration for myself from myself I am tired I need to take this bath why do I have my, <laughs> my stuff here my nail I don't know where to put it I'm so tired I'm so tired Things to take back tomorrow so tomorrow is a uh, earlier wake up time and yeah this love the color I need to get his right size they might not have it um, I guess I don't have to stand anymore but I still I, I'm tired <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say I feel like I just keep turning you on to not say anything I'll say that this hair mask made my hair really soft um just like a pouch hair mask I don't know, it smells like bananas or it has bananas it's okay I don't like the smell but I like the softness and really <laughs> I was gonna say again I'm really tired Anyways, so this will upload shortly and I realized also why I haven't been vlogging. My laptop is horrible. It's 2015 I think and it is so, you can hear it work. So loud, so overheating. It doesn't stay charged anymore. <laughs> then like I don't know now we're it used to be like a few hours six hours or something I don't remember but I want to say 10 but I don't think so but yeah it's not a thing uh, anyways I will talk to you later I'm gonna go I just wanted to wrap things up today was a better day than yesterday uh, besides this situation in my trachea, um, this is nothing new. Definitely probably stress related and I do feel a lot of anxiety. Yeah. I was gonna say my baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean I, I, I saw him but I feel like I'm just really excited for the summer. I can't wait. And a couple of things, or one big thing needs to happen for that. I need to lose weight. I need to lose weight to fit in my clothes. I need to be at my healthy weight. I am not at my healthy weight. Um, I'm actually overweight. I've gained 20 pounds. 20 pounds that is a lot I've never been this heavy I think part of it is age related but I was looking at I, I do think that I've been eating a lot more calories and not quite as active I think it's more my age that's the part of like I feel like especially in the past few months uh, I've been active but um, yeah I, I think I've been eating more than I usually eat consistently so I need to get back to a better eating situation Be able to digest well so I can process food well and sleep well because that also contributes to weight gain and loss and healthy weight and um, yeah just keep exercising keep doing the best I can with that and yeah I just have so many clothes that I like wearing 
that I can't wear. And it's going to be a very difficult time if I can't get back to my healthy weight. Um, I believe I will have to do a candida diet, though, at some point. And while doing that, taking the biome supplements and... And doing a candida diet based on my biome results as well. So the foods that are good for my body, and, you know, including those and not including the ones that are not good for my body, besides just the, the sugar takeout part. Um, and I say that because I want to breathe well again. I want to smell again. I want to taste again. I want to have a good digestion again and feel light and feel just easy and comfortable um i don't see like i don't mind having like thick thighs i'm not a huge fan of it but it's like okay but when it comes to not being able to digest well and be bloated and have trouble breathing because you're bloated that is mainly and then not being able to wear clothes and there is a, also a part that's like aesthetically visually pleasing to me i'm not that um just like when i was at my lowest weight i was not aesthetically pleasing to me visually um i have a sweet spot that's my just the way that i've generally been that my body naturally has you know, and it's a little on the puffier side, <laughs> but it's a healthy weight that I've always been. So when I get too low or too high, you know, something's off. And with the candida issues, yeah, my weight got way too low. I was at 115 pounds, I want to say, or 121 pounds. And that was the lowest I had ever been besides when I was, like, really young in, like, high school. And I had, like, also, like, some eating situations. Um, I didn't have an eating disorder, but it looked like it. <laughs> and it sounds, if I tell you what it was, which I think I've talked about, uh, you might think it is, but it was a brief moment in time, and it was more so PTSD, sort of, than an eating disorder. Which maybe that's they go hand in hand, but it, like it wasn't about my body image or my or control issues. It was a little bit of that ended up being that way, but it was I I just got scared. I had. Um, choked on or scratch my throat on a piece of toast or something I was eating and uh, my grandmother reacted very strongly and I was just just scared into not eating basically by a circumstance that was really outside of anyone's control but her reaction was you know pushed me I think over to that edge of well, I can't handle, if I choke again, I can't handle this, uh, like, no one can help me, um, even though, like, I was fine, and then I remember the doctor came, and she said that my tonsils were quite swollen, like, barely anything was getting through, I had large tonsils when I was little, um, and so, like, it's not, it wasn't a big deal as an adult, but when you're a kid, especially, and you are just kind of dependent, and I don't know, it's it was really hard. So I, I stopped eating for, I think, four months. Uh, anything other than mashed potatoes, clear, clear, clear soup, not the speck of anything, and hot chocolate, regular chocolate. At one point, I adopted bananas. Um, and yeah, stuff like that. So I lost a lot of weight, and then I kept it off for a while. Um, but my general healthy weight is like 132 pounds, and I'm at 155. And the heaviest I've ever been, which was a depressing, a depression episode, was, um... 
143, yeah, pounds, and that was in high school, and, uh, I mean in college, and, uh, when my cousin died, so, yeah, it was, it's, If I can get down to at least 136, it sounds so easy because I've always had such an easy time being that weight and even losing it, but now I do feel very discouraged. So with that note and that random rant, um, I'm going to go close this up and we'll talk tomorrow i have i just realized i have a busy morning i have a lot going on in the morning so um we'll we'll talk tomorrow and yeah cool all right have a wonderful night i'll try to look more in the camera or at least in myself in the visor thing and there i go not doing that um, but yeah, alright, part of it is also because I'm so tired, but a lot of it has just like started happening, um, it goes along kind of with dancing, I understand now when people are bad dancers and they just can't move, it, I believe it's something internal, like a self-belief that, because I used to move so well and so effortless, I was doing that so effortlessly and now I get awkward and I, I can't even think my body into non-awkward movements. It's really strange. It's a very frustrating feeling but I think it's, it's tied to basically a lack of self-belief, uh, a lot of insecurity and um, yeah, that I've been experiencing for the past couple of years. So, I'm, this year I'm hoping is my year to, like, get myself back to me. So, alright, I will talk to you later. And, yeah, my hand got so tired. Have a wonderful night. Peace, love, and compassion, y'all.